The majority of the music I listen to now, today in my free time, is the stuff that I've sort of always listened to. Like Blink, it reminds me of being in high school and Green Day. When I first started out on the music scene, um, Green Day was playing a lot of the festivals I was playing and it was really cool for me to see because in grade nine I was listening to a lot of their stuff and then I was playing like summer sonic festivals with them and it was pretty cool. A lot of Frank, Frank Sinatra though and Coldplay and stuff like that now but I listen to a lot of the older stuff on my computer that I've had for a while. I mean it's gonna happen especially when you're in the public eye. For me I've always like now at this stage in my life and you know I just choose to look on the positive because that outweighs the negative. I'm here and I'm living my dream. I always loved singing as a very young girl. Now I get to sing on stage and have people around the world know my music and to focus on any negativity you just get to the point where you understand like that's just part of the world. That's not what's important. What's important is that you're happy and doing what you want to do. You know, he's just letting me do my thing and um, the scene has changed so much, but I get to make the music I want to today. And when he first signed me, it was the same story. Like I was 15 years old and I wanted to write my own music and so he gave me that opportunity and that chance. That's what's great about him, is that from that record to this record, you know, he's, he's the head of the label and they can sometimes make life hell for you, but he's always been very supportive. It was really important to me to maintain my sound, to be true to my roots, but to also be open to experimenting, working with new people and trying out new sounds. I wrote a lot of music for this record. That's why I think this album is so diverse also, um, along with working with new people. But I picked my favorite songs and I feel like I feel like it's a strong record. Although the songs are, there's a lot, of, a lot going on. There's summer songs, there's pop songs, there's rock tunes, there's ballads, and then there's some, you know, Hello Kitty is an electronic tune. It's nice to be able to release stuff to to pop radio, top 40, and then go like hot AC. He's, he was somebody that I was, that I knew, and he's very successful. I was interested in working with him after my manager brought that up to me, Larry Rudolph, because I thought it would be a nice opportunity to write with someone who also has the same sort of experience out on the road and being up on stage and being a performer. And we had a lot in common, so when we got together to write music, it was different for me to record with another artist. Like when he was recording vocals and I was doing vocal takes, he wasn't just like a producer who does that for a living. Like he, you know, he's produced other people, but he is a singer. I felt like there was a different type of understanding and that brought, a, it made it a whole other experience, different type of experience for me. No, <laughs> I'm, I'm really happy and I find that you live and you learn and you become more comfortable. You realize like what life is about and in a way it almost becomes easier. Well, with 17, it's, with that song in particular, that was, that's an age that I always think about or just speak about a lot, like with my friends. I'm like, oh, I did that when I was 17. That was the first time, blah, blah, blah. Because it was such a big year for me. I think that's also what's great about this record. It's a little bit nostalgic and looking back. And, and with the first single, here's to never growing up. You know, it's all about your attitude and your your approach in life. And I just always want to have fun with everything. Yeah. I love Radiohead. I cook a lot. I put Radiohead records on in my kitchen and um, I actually had a, a really cool night where I got to meet the guys. It was all very pleasant and I enjoyed their music. I just got into the Harry Potter <laughs> and um, watched all of them and that was kind of fun. The movies were awesome and I liked it because visually it was like what I what I love. It was like dark and there was a lot to the story and it was pretty cool just to snuggle up on the couch with Chad and watch them all.